Hey guys, it's uh, General Heat here, and um, today we got a pretty um, obscure revisit, actually. There were very few videos on this back in the day, and I actually almost barely knew about this. So, what you want to do uh, to uh, get this glitch is to go to campaign on Halo 3, and actually this works on both the 360 and Master Chief Collection version. But you get the best results with uh, the Xbox 360 version. So what you want to do is uh, just go to Mission Start on Cortana. It doesn't matter what difficulty, just start it up. And simply let the game run. At least let the cutscene run. You don't have to watch the entire cutscene, just, uh, just watch this part. And then at this part, you can pretty much skip it and end the game. But that's basically all you had to do. Now, uh, on the Master Chief Collection, you would do the exact same thing. There's practically no difference between the two in this glitch. The only reason why I suggest you do it on the 360 version is because it's uh, easier to preview it or to see it. You'll, you'll find out in a second once we get there. But once you save and quit, just simply switch to theater mode and find that clip that you just did and start it up. Now in the case of this mission, uh, just pause right as soon as this part loads up and take a screenshot. And as you saw for a split second there, the outer edges of the scene disappeared and it revealed something in the background. Now in the early days people weren't sure what it was. They uh, they thought it was showing like some kind of like secret world uh, behind the cutscene, but what it's actually showing is actually another room on the map Cortana, and you can only reveal it by taking screenshots of it in theater mode. As you can see here, once we leave that part of the cutscene, if we take another screenshot, everything is back to normal. It doesn't do anything here. So basically at this point, that's about it for this part of the mission. Uh, now as far as I know, this glitch only affects two different cutscenes in the entire game. There might be more, but I haven't had a chance to test it with all of them yet. It's, there's a lot of cutscenes and a lot of parts of those cutscenes. But the only two I know of at the moment that I've tested so far is the first one in Cortana and in the beginning of the mission Halo. So I already have a film clip of that, so I'll have to show you guys that again. So let me just start that up now. So same thing here, just start it up and let it play. Now in the case of this one, you don't have to pause right away because it doesn't do anything just yet. Well, actually it does a little bit. See, if you take a screenshot here, You'll notice that part of the uh, Covenant Cruiser in the background got cut off a little bit. See right there, just a little bit got chopped off. That's because it's it's you're you're pretty close to the area where uh, it's going to be uh, revealed or covered up. But as you can see here, nothing different. This really, this is the reason why I believe it only works on these two Johnson, commissions is because the um, yes, this glitch only affects cutscenes where. The background is kind of like that concept art kind of background. As you can see here in the background, there's a little bit of a uh, concept art, sort of. And I took a screenshot earlier and it was it turned blue in the background, if you noticed it. But, here. If you take a screenshot, this one reveals even more than the Cortana one. And you can save the screenshots, too. But as you can see, the background to this, it's not an actual, like level it's it's just you know concept art or like background art so I, I, my guess is that when you take a screenshot it, it kind of like glitches out the background and reveals what's actually in the background rather than what's overlaid now as i said you could save the screenshot if you want if you do happen to save the screenshot you can view the screenshots here i took a screenshot of both just for uh, your reference so the first one the one we just took was on Halo. 
So let's take a look at that. So now you can take a closer look at it. And then here's the one. This is the same one. Uh, here's the one on Cortana. You take a closer look at that. Now I will explain in a minute exactly like what's going on and what's what's actually there in the background or actually where it is in the background. But first, let me just cover the Master Chief Collection. If you can do the same thing on a Master Chief Collection. Uh, the only difference is Johnson, do you have the frigate? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you won't I'll get the preview, the, the screenshot. The so at, earlier when I did it, you saw that the background changed for a second, so you could see what what happened. On a Master Chief collection, if you do the same thing, here, see if you take a screenshot, it doesn't preview the screenshot they just took. Uh, actually, it pops up asking you to save. You don't see the keyboard right now because I'm using the game DVR to record this, but I am typing a name for the uh, file. And once you save it, it will tell you that the save was successful. So the problem with the Master Chief collection is that if you're looking for cutscenes that are affected by this, the only way to know is save the screenshot and then go back to your file browser and take a look. Whereas on Halo 3, you get to uh, see the preview of the screenshot right away so you know whether it actually affected it or not. So it's a lot more efficient on the uh, Xbox 360 version of Halo 3. But as you can see here in Master Chief Collection, you do have the background of the game, uh, of the theater clip, and then go to your file browser where you keep your screenshots. I'm actually gonna upload these to my file share really quickly, so if you guys do wanna take a look at my file share, uh, you can take a look at the screenshots yourself in full 1080p of the Master Chief Collection. Next gen, I might add. But anyways, uh, let's take a closer look at these full 1080p screenshots. So here it is again on Cortana. I don't know if it's a little clearer for you guys than the 360 version. Uh, it's not much difference to me, but you know, just for your viewing pleasure here. And here's the one on Halo. And these are the Master Chief Collection versions. So as you can see, it's pretty much still the same. Same glitch that affects it, which actually kind of surprises me that the same glitch still works. Because a lot of glitches on the Master Chief Collection, uh, they don't work anymore compared to the uh, 360 version. So, on to the main topic. Where are these? So we're going to go back to the Xbox 360 version of Halo 3, and we're gonna use the PanCam tool to visit that location. So, for those of you who don't know what PanCam is, uh, it's, if you enter a certain button com combination in Halo 3, these numbers will appear up on the screen. These are your coordinates in the world and what you, you what you can use them for in this case is you can use pan cam to glitch out of the map because you can increase the speed of the camera so you can just fly right out basically so that's what we did here once we're out of the map we are basically free to fly around anywhere in the entire um, mission even like really far out where there's nothing there at all so our goal here is to match the coordinates with the coordinates shown in the cutscene to try to find out exactly where that room is that we saw in the background of the cutscenes. So we got the coordinates down pretty close here on Cortana. We couldn't get an exact because um, it was a little sensitive and adjusting the pan cam didn't really help actually. So we got pretty close and as you can see we're pretty much up against the wall here. Uh, if I rotate the camera it just all disappears so I can't really like show you perfectly, but as you can see, we are up against the wall and the parts of the wall up top looked pretty similar to uh, the wall in the screenshot. So my guess is that the camera was just simply facing the wall. And that's basically where it overlaid the uh, concept or background, at least for Cortana. Now, this one's on Halo. We got the pan can all the way up to the top of the map. This is actually another mini revisit, I guess. Um, this was actually a pretty cool thing to do back in the day, but if you fly up to the very top of Halo, there is a skybox up here with all these different um, 
uh, backgrounds, I guess, that are used in the cutscenes, both the uh, final cutscene and the uh, intro cutscenes. So, once again, we got the coordinates matched pretty closely with what's displayed during the cutscene. We just flew up here. And one of these is basically uh, the backgrounds that you saw in the screenshot. So that's basically, uh, that's basically what the screenshot is. Um, it's just, for some reason, removing part of the, uh, the overlaid concept art background and revealing the skybox behind the art or the background. So I, I don't think there's any other missions that use like a sort of concept art like background. I don't know like what the actual like official terminology is or the jargon for it is. So forgive me if I'm you know ref referencing it wrong, but that's basically uh what it is, and I think only like two missions use it, which is uh Cortana and Halo. I don't believe any other missions do, but if any other missions do, do let me know and. I'm actually interested to see if this works on those missions as well. Or if you do try it out yourself, let me know if you find any of the missions that are affected by this. It is uh, pretty interesting to me. Also, um, if any of you guys are interested, for future revisits, I could use the pan cam tool to um, glitch out of more maps. And I could revisit some out of map stuff uh, with the pan cam. So if you guys are interested in, in those kind of revisits, uh, let me know in the comments and I will consider uh, doing more revisits like these. But other than that, uh, that's basically the uh, mystery solved behind this these two screenshots. Uh, it's, you know, there's no like secret hidden world or anything. There's no like Easter egg. It's just uh, a glitch revealing the skybox behind the uh, overlaid background. So yeah, I, I hope that closes this case and I hope you guys enjoyed this and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you next time.